Okay, so it's day eight of the World Cup group stage. We're now in full swing of the second match day for most of these teams. And there is going to be two more teams that is going to be coming into this day facing elimination and potentially could be out of the World Cup and become the fourth and fifth team that gets eliminated in the World Cup this year. And those teams are Australia and Peru. And I, of course, we'll be talking about both of those games first. And then I'll talk about the Argentina versus Croatia game, which both of these teams are not really facing elimination. Both of these teams are pretty close to each other. Although Argentina certainly definitely needs to win this game if they do not want to fall into a very, very tricky situation in the final day of the of the match day group stage world cup but yeah uh first of all we're gonna start with denmark versus australia and as i mentioned australia is sort of facing elimination in this game um for denmark if they can get a win and a peru lost then they will be moving on into the round of 16 and for australia they need to make sure that they do not lose this game you know, if they drew this game, depending on if France can able to beat Peru, then they will be out of the World Cup, even though they draw that game. So if they drew this game, they got to make sure that France does not able to beat Peru in that game. But in many ways, this is a must win for Australia and, you know, against Denmark, a team that you know, in the last game, definitely didn't look very good against Peru. And in some way, they were kind of lucky to able to get all three points against Peru. And Australia definitely played very well against France in the last match. But the question is, can they repeat that performance in this game against Denmark? And I'm assuming they're going to get more chances in this game compared to what they did against France. And really, I just think that they need to... They have to play exactly the way like they did against France if they want to make sure they don't get eliminated into this tournament again um, and you know for Denmark it's gonna be interesting to see if they can get a win I think for Denmark if they can get a win in this game then they do not have to worry about the next match when they face against France and have kind of a doubt of whether or not if they're gonna move out to the next group and you can maybe in some way say that this is also kind of a must win for Denmark because of that but at the same time Australia need this win more than Denmark because if they do not win this and depending on the France versus Peru game if France win then they're out they're out of the World Cup so you know Australia is gonna really fight in this game and let's see if they can maybe do what they did in the last game against France. But this time, they're definitely going to get more opportunity. And hopefully, they'll put away those opportunities so they can beat Denmark. Um, but moving on into the next match. And this is kind of the same thing for Peru. For Peru, they got to win this game against France. And this is why Peru is just in this really difficult situation right now. Because... You know, they're playing against France, and knowing that this is a must-win game for them, there is... That must not be feeling good if you're a team that have to win a game so that you might not be... You might fight for another day and not, not get eliminated in the World Cup, and you have to face one of the best teams in the tournament. Now, although France have had struggle in this tournament so far, remember in the first game, they got incredible incredibly lucky against Australia and had a couple of controversial decision that kind of gone in favor of them they certainly don't want to play the same way like they did against in this game against Peru because Peru is definitely a more dangerous team um, you know expect I expect Paulo Guerrero to probably get at least a goal or two to try to help his team to get a big victory and make this final day of the match match day group stage in the world cup much more interesting but we'll see if they can do that and we'll see if france can finally kind of wake up and that that game that they won was 
a pretty good wake up call that this is this is actually real. We are not in like a friendly tournament. This is the World Cup. You need to actually show up in in a game so that you can actually get a win. You can't just like go half asleep with all those talent that you have on your team and expect you to easily breeze through the World Cup like it's nothing. So this is going to be very interesting to see if those those players that can actually start it to play like they they should be playing like the way that they've been playing all year long for their club and you know for Peru like I said they have to win this game and you know if they draw this game they better pray that Australia also drew against Denmark and make it a little bit interesting heading into the final day but yeah um, moving into the nightcap game between Argentina versus Croatia um, Croatia of course if they win this and if Iceland and Nigeria game ends in a draw then they would be moving on into the next round but if Argentina win this one and if Iceland loses then Argentina is now on top of group group C I mean or not group C I'm sorry I think it's group, group D if I remember um, yeah, I mean, how, how different is that? Consider how right, where Argentina is right now in third place and currently, I think two points or three points behind, behind, or actually, no, they're not three points behind. They're actually tied with Iceland right, right now, um, because both of those teams faced each other last time and they drew in that match, so... Yeah, for Argentina, they got to make sure that they need to win this game against Croatia. And certainly, I think that Messi will definitely show up in this game. You know, in the last game, he definitely didn't really kind of show up. Well, I wouldn't say he, he didn't show up, but when the big moment happens, when, when, the, when his country really need him to put away those crucial kind of, kind of goals, he... Un unfortunately was not able to put those away and he even missed a penalty in that game against Iceland so certainly I think Messi will be ready for this game and he certainly would want to prove the doubters wrong that with the way how he is actually going to give it his all for what potentially this could be the last World Cup that he has and the last chance that he will get with Argentina to to win the World Cup and for Croatia obviously this is gonna be a game that is definitely gonna be tough and it's gonna be interesting to see how those players are going to deal with Messi and deal with that Argentine attack and most importantly let's just hope that Croatia actually play a little bit better than they did against Nigeria because that was not a pretty game by Croatia even though Croatia won 2 nothing. The reason why they won that game wasn't because they were better than Nigeria. It was because Nigeria was worse than them. So, you know, those guys for Croatia, Mandzukic, Rakitic, and also also Montrez, they need to show up in this game. And, yeah, this is going to be a very kind of tasty kind of matchup. And, unfortunately, I am not going to be able to watch this game live because I have to go to school on this day. But I will watch like the last 15 minutes of this game when I am out of school. And I just dropped my marker there for some reason. But yeah, that is pretty much it for these three matchup in terms of the preview. Uh, like I said, there potentially could be two teams by the end of these matchup that will be eliminated in the World Cup. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what do you think of these games. What's your prediction for this game? And let me know in the comments below, do you think Australia, Peru are both going to get eliminated? Or one of them are going to get eliminated? Or both will stay alive for the final day of the group stage? So let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you guys leave a like. Smash that subscribe button. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.